Finally now the stables. We're gonna get to the stables. It feels like I've been talking for two days. Um, quite a few changes to the stables between horses moving around and coming in and leaving. Um, it's just so fluid this time of year. Amy did her best to make up. This is a, there's a lot of chicken scratches going on here. We're gonna have to put it on, uh, on a spreadsheet type thing. I'll do that. I usually have it on my other phone and I just haven't updated it. Anyway, Harry's Barn, Archer's Rainbow, I assume getting pretty close to racing, I would suspect. I'll talk to uh, Harry tonight or tomorrow morning about her. Just get a little update of where she's at. She'll be close. I mean, she's been in for a while. Uh, how the hell made a break at the 10 hole the other day? Pitched the 10 hole. It's a very tough place for a horse like him to leave from. It's not his fault. I didn't ask James or Harry. I just know it's not his fault. Uh, JK Mickey Mantle raced great last night. Left really hard, jammed up, moved around, tried to shuffle through late. Um, you know, the horse just. I thought the horse raced well, and I think he's going to be a very, very nice horse for us. Locatelli raced good last week. Unfortunately, him and White Tiger got a race against each other. I'm not a big, big fan of that. But in this particular case, I don't re I don't see any recourse. White Tiger's not leaving. He's not going anywhere. And Locatelli, why, why would he go anywhere? I mean, where would he go? Scioto? I mean, we have Kings County there. I, I just don't think there's a need to move either. If, if it comes up... If, if they're going to both race in the open, they're both going to be fringe players, then yeah, something's going to give, and it'll likely be Locatelli. But I don't want to do that just yet. I'm just going to let them stay the course for now. This is a different situation than just putting them in together. Um, there should be a place for both of these horses to race. Listen, if they're both going to be in the open, and they're both going to do in the open, great. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. But for now, they are racing against one another. For now. No free lunch was great again. Harry did such a great job just taking his time with this horse. You know, it's hard. It's hard to say, hey, we don't want to race him because there's a little bit of his blood work that's a little messed up. He seems fine, but his blood's screwed up. Usually if their blood's screwed up, they're screwed up a little bit. And, and Harry gave him the time and gave him the time and did the right thing. And the horse raced good when he got him back. It's just, just a great job again by him. Nothing but a dreamer. Harry specifically asked me to castrate this horse at the end of the year, so I'm going to. I had no reason not to. I thought he raced really well uh, in the final. Took a lifetime mark of 55 and two. This just was a nice two-year-old. So we'll see. We'll see how. Uh, we'll see how. Uh, nothing but a dreamer comes back as a sophomore. Speaking of sophomores, Resolute Bay was incredible in his final. Just such a nice horse. Just an incredibly nice horse. And I just. I can't. He's definitely staying. I've been telling everybody this since he was two. If he goes back good at three, you're going to see him much better at four, and that's exactly what's happening here. So that's Harry's barn. Lots to talk about him back in just a minute with all the other barns.